everybody happy earth day so today i'm going to show you guys how to reuse some of the things around your house to make a hummingbird feeder so in my house i have plastic bottles glass bottles and random containers okay so I'm going to show you how to make two types of bird feeders. One is going to be a simple one, which is a plastic bottle or a regular bottle that you have around the house and a piece of string or twine. I have twine in my house. And then the second one is going to have to do with, you know, two pieces of plastic or recyclable materials. I'm going to use a glass bottle because that's what I have at my house. So for the first one, you know, with adult supervision, have, take your scissors and make an X on your bottle and again make sure your an adult is there with you to do it yeah. and then you can poke a hole on the bottle and cut nice little circles for the little hole for the hummingbird can get its nectar out My hole is, you know, not perfect, but it's a little hole so that the bird can come. And then you're gonna take your piece of string or twine and you're gonna tie it around the top so that you can make a nice little hook or whatever so that you can hold, hang the bird feeder up. So you're gonna tie that, you're gonna tie another little knot and there's your first one. And you can decorate this bottle however you want to make it really pretty with some bright colors because, you know, it's springtime and hummingbirds like bright colors. So, before we get to number two, I'm going to show you guys how to make the nectar for the hummingbird. For the nectar, you're going to need a half a cup of white sugar. You're going to pour it in your pot. And then two cups I've already pre-measured it, but two cups of water. You're gonna pour that in your pot as well. And again, with adult supervision, or have an adult do this, you're gonna boil The second one, I've already started making it, but you're going to take your container, you're going to take the top off, I've already painted mine, did a nice little bright red, and just like you did with the simple one, you're going to have an adult, take the scissors, make an X, and then you're going to cut an X in, in the top, because this is where your bottle is going to go. So. You're gonna take your bottle again. I don't have a plastic bottle, but this one will probably work best with a plastic bottle, only because glass is very heavy. You're gonna take the top off of there, and you're gonna take the bottle, and you're gonna just press the top of your container on the bottle. We're gonna backtrack before we put the top on our bottle we have to poke holes so that the birds can actually get the nectar out so again adult supervision if i have an adult do it you're gonna poke holes in your lid i'm gonna try to make it you know a little bit round just so that they can you know get the nectar out nice i'm gonna do eh, i'm gonna do two holes on opposite ends just you know for in case there are two hummingbirds flying around. So, nice and easy, you know. You're gonna poke holes. My second hole is clearly better than my first, but they're both holes. So, now that I have my holes, then you're gonna take the lid to your container. 
place it on top take the top of your bottle and close the lid back on there and I'm gonna try my hardest to keep getting the plastic under the lid under the cap and I'll close it for security there we go You're going to take the lid and you're going to put it on top of your container. You're going to take your string. I'm going to use twine again because that's what I have at my house. You're going to tie one going this way. This is going to be your carrier for it. And you're going to take another one, make sure that they're long pieces of twine, string, or whatever you use. You're going to tie another one this way. Nice and tight. And again, it's probably, it will work better with a plastic bottle because a plastic bottle is not as heavy as glass. And then you're going to take these two ends, tie again, and do it for the opposite side as well. Boom. So now you have four pieces of string hanging. You're going to take the opposite sides of the string. I like to measure so it's tight. And you're going to tie a knot here. And then you're going to slip it over. You're going to do the same with the opposite. Measure, make sure that it's close, tie another knot here, and then you're gonna slip that over the top, come on, just like that, and then I'm gonna take another, so right now we're on three pieces of string, or twine, and then I'm going to slip it under the X just like that I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to slip it under the X going the other way just for security try not to get confused with your twine and I kind of I got confused So now that you have the string on the bottle, again, like I said before, I am not an expert at this. I'm just going to cut the extra short strings off, make another little knot here, boom, and then tie this together, boom, and voila! You have a bird feeder. You're gonna pour just enough of the water in there. You don't wanna fill it up too much because you don't want it to go past the hole. So I just poured, you know, just a, probably like a half an inch below the hole for this one and then pour the advanced bird hummingbird feeder. You just take the top off. You know, untwist your cap. You're gonna pour the liquids in there. The reason the hole is there is so that the water can go inside the container easily 
without it being very messy or having a lot of water rushing out at once. Put the bottom on, make sure it's secure. And then you're gonna gently flip it over. 